All right, six months ago, a patient came to us and said, I can't fill this prescription. I can't afford it. And what we're talking about, we said, what prescription was that? He had looked for an affordable prescription cost for sildenafil. Now, the brand name is Viagra, but the generic name is sildenafil, all right? He had to go to the different pharmacies around here and find out it was almost pretty much the same. It was $90 for a 30-day prescription of 20 milligrams of sildenafil here, and it's June now, six months later, is that using an app like GoodRx, we can help them with reducing the cost of health care and medications to instead of dollars a pill to pennies a pill. How do they do that? Well, most of these drugs have gone generic. There's no reason for their prices to go skyrocketing up to the point where you can't afford them anymore. So how do you use good RX? So first of all, when you go to their page, you're probably going to have to establish who you are. But in the box, you're going to put the generic name for the drug. In this case, it's sildenafil for Viagra. You use that as an example. Then you choose the tablet. All right, and that or the uh, how are you going to take this? Uh, is it going to be tablet form or is it going to be an oral form or like a liquid, which you can get by the way? And there's, I guess, I guess there's choose now as well. Um, then you look at dosage. In this case, we chose 20 milligrams. Quantity, 30 days. This is all you. Once you've got that, then you can find out what the current pharmacies in your area are charging for that drug. In this case, we found out for 20 milligrams, 30 days for sildenafil, it's going to cost you $12.79. I believe that was with Safeway. All right, what's that done? It has taken your cost from $3 a pill to something like 42 cents a pill. And this is what I was talking about, dollars to pennies, as far as a huge cost savings to you. All right. So what do you have to do once you get your coupon? And that's what they're going to provide you with. Number one, you've got to make sure that when you print the coupon, you're going to take that with your prescription because it doesn't work otherwise. You go to the pharmacy, you present that to the pharmacist, they then will honor the price printed. What we've done today is provide you with information on how Dr. Nima's office as an advocate for his patients or anybody who is in need of filling a prescription can save money and still get the same quality of medication as you would as if you were paying full price. So take advantage of this, save yourself some money, and remember, we're always here as an advocate for you.